fucking close. Listen. Oh my, was that a triple? Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or Sorable Beans video on my channel once again. Now in today's Crocker video, we're going to be going over my season four settings. Now I make a settings video every few months or so because things do change in the game and I change my settings according to those changes in the game. And I've been getting a ton of comments on my videos and streams asking me to make a settings video. So this is for you guys. Now I'm going to be going over all the settings, but if you guys want to skip that, I will also have a paste bin in the comments down below. Pretty much you just go to that website, copy the string of text and put it in the import. You go here you know control v paste you're done but before we get into the video if you guys are new to this channel and like to see make sure you guys drop a like and also subscribe to this channel for more crunker content like this i'm gonna be uploading a ton of content whenever steam releases and also with survival so if you guys want to see that here first make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss a video from your boy and then yesterday i actually got my first contraband of season four go ahead and play the clip now yo blue central If you guys would also like to try to get a contraband, make sure you go to the Crunker item shop and use creator code SORBLE while buying Crunkies. It is by far the best way to support the channel. Let's hop right into the settings. So I just want to hop in the game and show you guys what my game looks like. It's what my weapon looks like. This is what my FOV looks like. This is what my F weapon FOV looks like. What my arms look like. This is what the game looks like. This is what everything looks like. This is what it looks like when I'm slide hopping. This is what it looks like when I'm throwing knifing. It looks like that. And this is what it looks like when I'm, you know, getting kills and stuff like that. I thought there was going to be a fourth. I was going off. Oh, you're kidding me! Ooh, that was clean. Man, I'm really sad because this is probably the best lobby I'm getting today. But I need to show you guys my settings before I get into the gameplay. But thankfully, I actually just got a really good representation of what the gameplay looks like. So if you guys want your game to look like this, just copy my settings or maybe just adapt some of them to your own settings. Alright, so hopping into the general settings. Default region, I play New York and sometimes I play Miami. I have high tick rate on because I think that's just how the game should feel. I have the Stro Free KR pop up off, which is really annoying, especially since you don't ever get anything. Shader base rendering off since that seems to really mess up the game. Unlimited FPS on, obviously. Window capture off. Discord RPC off. Resource swapper on. Moving on to controls, I believe this is going to be pretty basic. Yeah, every everything is normal. There's nothing, there's nothing different about this. Moving on. On to display now. This is some of the important stuff. We have the interface. My UI scale is 0.8. This is what it looks like normally, and I think this is just big and bulky and ugly. And I think just with this little bit of change, it looks really clean. And I also use the new scoreboard. I see a lot of streamers and YouTubers using the old scoreboard, and it's great and all, but for some reason, I just feel like it's better for content creation. So that's why I use the new scoreboard. Dynamic HBRs is on. Hit indicators is off because that actually messes with FPS a lot. For damage color, which is the pop up thing whenever you hit somebody, I'm using this for body shots and this for headshots. And the damage scale is 0.8. Then kill feed is on, kill counters on, dust street counters on score counters on street counters on show ping is on fps is on and movement speed is off name tag displayed everybody name tag opacity one name tag style everything name tag health number off this is the color of my teammates name tags and this is the color of the enemy which i believe is default and then the xp bar is this color i really like blue these are my chat settings if you guys just want to copy this and then we're moving on to crosshair as you guys can see i have it on image and then i have a discord link that links to an image now if you guys want my scopes reticles images and stuff like that they're all in my discord so if you guys want to join my discord it'll be in the top of the description or like i said you could go through that paste bin now hit marker this is what i get asked a lot about and i don't even know how i did this i think i just tinkered around with it till it stuck by the way this is what my hit marker looks like uh, by the way this is what my hit marker looks like 
it's just nice it shoots it explodes kind of expands and then it fades away so i have hit marker on show the color is this color kill color is this color opacity is one length is 13 thickness is seven spacing is 37 and animation size is 0.14 and animation speed is zero i'm assuming and fade speed is 0 0.0062 what does all of this mean i have absolutely no idea maybe just mess around with a little bit use this as like a starting point and then adjust it accordingly how you like it now moving on to render this is going to vary from system to system maybe don't copy all of these settings if you're playing on a chromebook but if you're playing on a high-end pc and if you want your game to look like mine use these settings so resolution i have it on two because it makes the game look super clean and nice it's really not that much different from one but you guys can see a clear difference from one and two the only time i ever use frame caps is for videos or spins but i typically don't have them on however i believe capping your frames can make a more consistent gameplay i just like to have as much fps on each map as i can my aspect ratio is 1920 by 1080 which is native i did used to play on stretch resolution but it just eventually got old and i think native looks a lot cleaner and it plays a lot easier it just feels better for some reason i don't know why anti-aliasing is off post-processing is on low spec is off no textures is off map details is on i recently just turned map details back on because it just adds little details to each map however it is a huge hit to fps and that's why i had it off in the first place particles is on that's another thing that also takes a huge fps hit then these two settings i have no idea what they mean but particle distance is 630 and render distance is 63. i have shadows on because i think that makes the game look super nice but i have soft shadows off just because i think it's a little bit too much i have high res shadows off as well because i just don't think it's worth the fps hit then i have dynamic shadows on i believe that's like the shadows from your characters ambient shading is one i apparently have that on bullet trails is on my trails are on muzzle flashes on sniper flap is off we have texture animations on object animations on screen shake off it's like when somebody is shooting rpgs at you and stuff like that your screen will shake i personally hate that with a burning passion weapon china is on for me it pretty much makes light reflect off your gun and then lighting is normal but you guys can adjust this however you like it editing we have hud health high blue hud health low red pretty much blue mean good red mean bad speed lines is on and is at one and it is this color i have show pop-up score which pretty much is when you get a kill pops up of score and it is also this color all right there's gonna be a lot of information really quick so here we go pop-up score scale one pop-up score x offset five pop-up score y offset 3.7 we have the progress bar color which i assumed was the xp bar but it actually is the throwing knife bar when you're throwing your throwing knife and stuff like that and i'm assuming when you're interacting with something with your mouse one key so that is why my throwing knife bar is vertical and it is blue and stuff like that so if you guys also want that make sure you guys copy these settings progress bar shadow is on progress bar x offset is five progress bar y offset is eight progress bar rotation is 270 and that is why it is vertical and not horizontal so copy those settings if you guys want a vertical throwing knife bar scale thingy moving on i think this is some of the most important settings you can have inside of crunker it really makes your game look nice and if you don't have it on it makes you look like you're playing in world war ii so here we go we have saturation in game i have 2.5 makes the game super vibrant but not too vibrant and then saturation ui this is pretty much just up to you it doesn't make the game look necessarily good or bad I just really like vibrant colors, so that's why it's so high. And then color hue in game and color hue UI is just zero. If you mess with it too much, it starts getting kind of crazy. Not necessary. Oh, what? What? What happened? No! Crunker, how do I how do I fix it? Okay, so maybe maybe just don't mess with that and just leave a default. I have Vignette all the way at zero, but you guys can turn up according to how you like it. It pretty much just make dark shadows around your corners. Then let's move over to game. This is also some of the most important settings that you guys should probably be copying. My field of view is 105 and my weapon FOV is 90. Now these used to be a lot higher because I thought it looked cool, but in all reality, it did a lot of warping to the game. It's really hard to explain, but pretty much when you have a higher FOV, it makes a fish eye lens effect. And so when characters are on your left, they're not necessarily where they say they are but they are in the game it's really hard to explain but to make this not complicated i would just lower your fov to a nice setting like 105 or 90 and stuff like that now this is a very controversial setting okay everyone always asked cj why is your weapon bobbing so high they always ask cj why is your weapon leaning so high i don't know this is what it's been since august 2019 i am sorry my weapon bobbing is 1.5 and my weapon leaning is 2.5 bobbing is when you're side hopping and leaning is when you're moving around and then if you guys want to have your gun exactly where i have my gun listen now so weapon x offset is 2 weapon y offset is 1.5 and weapon z offset is 1.2 and that pretty much just makes my gun where it is on the screen weapon ads y offset is 1 weapon swap y is 1 and weapon reload y is 1 
and then hide a weapon on ADS is on for me and that is because when I'm aiming in it's a lot easier just to line my reticle up with the enemy compared to like the crosshair and the, the, the iron sights and stuff like that however though if you do want to see your gun and while you're aiming in you can change the weapon ADS offset and then moving on we have show hands show primary show secondary show melee and rounded arms all on right now rounded arms are completely optional they literally either make your arm square or round and then now we are at customization now load mods is on which allows you to load mods and auto load mods is also on so whenever you have a mod on it'll automatically load every time you get onto the game scope borders is off and this is very very important because when you have an image from discord or google or whatever it is it's a png image which means it's a transparent and so it allows you to see everything around the scope and inside the scope but when you have scope borders on it does this it makes a big black area around your scope so if you guys want your sniper scope to look like this make sure you turn them off and then like i said all of these images are going to be in my discord they're in a specific chat i believe called sorable settings so if you guys want any of my icons like my scope my ammo icon kill icon death icon kill streak icon uh damage overlay and stuff like that make sure you guys go check it out on my discord or like i said you guys go check out the pace bin and that does it for my crunker season 4 setting hopefully this video helped you guys especially since a lot of you guys were asking me what my settings were or how i did this or how i did that this explains all of it and like i said if you do not want to go through this video and you want to just copy my settings as a whole make sure you check out the pace bin in the comments down below so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is go into a game show off my settings even more and maybe even try to get a nuke for you guys yeah honestly settings are just what makes you comfortable you guys could use my settings but it's not gonna make your guys's gameplay exactly like mine because my gameplay is the way it is because of me but i just want to make that very clear my settings aren't gonna make you good at the game my settings aren't gonna make you bad at the game just depends on how good you are at crunker just by itself it really just matters what's inside okay yo this guy just accused me of hacking let's go sword bull settings equal hacks soldier again says anonymous is hacking and anonymous is me he's level 107 that's a good point uh donkey Oh, quad feed. Let's go. That was clean. The amount of times I've been on a, you know, 15, 20 kill streak this video makes me sick to my stomach. It's probably been six or seven times where I've been close. Oh my, oh my, was that a triple? Let's go. I think that was a triple. Let's go. I haven't had a triple since like February. Let's go, dude. Yes. Let's go. Screw the nuke. That's good enough for me. Oh my god. I don't even know what that game was. I, I hit a triple collat. I haven't hit a triple collat in like a year. That is absolutely insane. But a triple collat, one shot, three kills. Let's go, dude. I'm going to be really, really upset <laughs> when I look back at the recording and it was just a collat. Oh, that went clean. Jesus, I almost died. And let's go! We got a nuke with the Sorable settings for Season 4. And I also got a Triple Collat, which is absolutely insane. This video has been an absolute banger. I'm so happy, guys. Go try out the settings if you want. They're absolutely insane. Some people might even say they're hacks. I, it's up to you guys. I don't know. It's kind of insane. Let's go, dude. I'm so happy right now. Let's go. Triple Collat is insane! A nuke! pretty mediocre i'm so happy right now guys yeah if you guys want to go try out the settings for yourselves this is what i was capable of doing with them what can you guys do like i said it's really not about the settings it's more or less about the player because if you gave the worst settings to the best players they're still going to do good and also if you give the best settings to the worst player they're still going to do bad so the fact we hit a triple collat in this video and got a nuke makes me very very happy i'm so hyped about the triple collat you guys have no idea but one last time feel free to try out the settings and also i have a paste bin in the description down below if you guys just want to copy my settings exactly 
thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys drop a like a comment and also subscribe to the channel for more crunker content like this guys if you want to see more content like this nukes triple collapse and more please subscribe to the channel like i said at the very beginning of the video if you guys don't know i'm gonna be uploading a ton of steam and survival content whenever that does drop so if you guys want to see that here first make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications and never miss a video from your boy yeah guys like i don't i don't know that video was insane the triple collat into the nuke it was all worth it like i said i choked like eight maybe nine nukes and it was hurting my feelings quite a bit but once i hit the triple collat it was all worth triple collats are just insane they don't really take any skill it's really just a lot of luck because you have to have at least three people to line up in a line and shoot them and kill them all and i've also yet to hit a quad collat which will be absolutely insane one day when i do hit it but until then i think that about does it for these horrible settings for season four thank you guys so much for watching once again and as always it's been your boy cj or sorrible i'll see you guys in the next one peace out